Hi and good morning. Uh, today is a Saturday morning and I have some free time. So it's been long overdue, I must say the truth. The small debacle about the Reddit incident. I really don't call it an incident. I have no idea why it blew up so much on Reddit, especially on the R Lebanon subreddit. So to a point, I'm getting comments on my video asking what happened to you old Lebanese nerd? What happened to you Lebanese unboxer? My friends are telling me every week, someone is asking, where is the old Lebanese lord? Where did he go? Did he die? Dude, I didn't die. Here I am. I'm still alive. I'm happy. For once. And there have been memes and jokes and uh, a lot of conspiracy theory. I have no idea why. Some people here, uh, I'm, 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 I'm doing a video in this format. I'm keeping this place here open to put some screenshot to tell you what folks on Reddit are talking about me. Dude, what the heck? I'm just a guy who was on Reddit for a while, hosting jokes, hosting memes, hosting food, some gaming, and occasional mental breakdown, as one respected Reddit user, Redditor, told me. Guys, I was in for the laughs. I'm an old man. I have a simple job, I have a boring job, I have nothing to do all day, uh, my friends are at work, I'm at work, my girlfriend is at work, so I have to do some, something, and I hate Facebook, and I hate Instagram, I found Reddit pretty interesting, so I went there, I tried to be positive, upbeat, but the blatant lies, holy shit, look man, I lost my hair. <laughs> this, swear to God, some of the comments there <laughs> really made my day. There are really so many, so many nice comments about me, but I'm not going to talk about those. Those were legit honest. But the blatant lies here, holy crap, they really made me laugh. Anyway, how about on with the show? <laughs> they say I have around 12 picks here. Let's start with the title, as they said. I'll try to put them here and we'll read along. What happened to old Lebanese nerd, form, the artist formerly known as Lebanese Unboxer? He misses my presence. Uh, about the fast food, chips, random comments, random comments, and Tripoli knowledge. Honestly, I lived in Tripoli almost all my life, except when I lived 10 years in Dubai, and I still know shit about uh, Tripoli. Maybe I'm one of the few. Yes, sir, you are one of the few. So many are happy I'm gone. Thank God. Even I will be happy if I'm gone. Okay. Uh, uh, first of all, let's talk about something. The user is SwingDog0024. I looked around. He's not an old user. He's a lurker or something. So why bring my... Uh, so why is he the guy who brought up my subject? There are people who usually comment daily on my post. None of them gave a shit. None of them even ask, ask or said anything. None of them even bothered to DM or something. But a random guy who I never seen, who I checked his post history, never posted crap in his life, is asking about me. A bit sus, if we say. If we can say. Anyway, let's start with the shit show. Uh-huh. Uh, give me your data, uh, data set. Give me your data set. This guy I know. The, this name I remember. He really was horrible many times. Many times, he vividly expressed how much he hate my guts. Harassment and wrong children have been subjected to. His posts were annoying. The guy was just cringe. Dude, it's common knowledge. I'm cringe. What's new? Did you guys notice he never engaged in actual discussion? What discussion? All you guys say is F this, F that, and all the usual crap. When is Murex? Is it safe to come to Lebanon? How can I have sex? In Tripoli or in Beirut. Discussion, discussion about what? I, uh, I used to participate in discussion. I was the, the, the most downvoted person when I start a normal discussion. That's it. He treats the party phone, boot club, and vent dumpster. So, it's Lebanon. We're supposed to vent and we're supposed to post food. Food is Lebanese. Venting about the daily life to life here. I don't know. If it bothers you, who cares? Lurks a little. Holy shit, from his name. Personally, phone would be excessive and annoying for two reasons. Current time of poverty and hunger. You've never been on Instagram, my friend. You better wake the fuck up. Can be 
triggering. If this triggers you, you have serious issues. Karma seeking, what karma? I even, uh, until this day, I have no understanding of the karma system. And why should I farm karma? Will it give me dollars or anything? No. I had a constructive and polite conversation with him in the past. Do I don't even know you. I never talked to you. I never seen your face. I never read your name anywhere. You had constructive? What constructive? We never even said hi in our life. Shit. Let's move on. Two. Personal uh, reservation. Mm. If you want to have a reservation, you better call early. To the harassment fund. Okay, thank you. Problem with the da. Okay, now here the methodic, methodical 172 said. Personal vendetta against delivery driver. I only made one post about the delivery driver. It was a joke. I said if the driver knocks on my door saying his, uh, his motorcycle is uh, stolen, what's my problem? I did this one joke. I said I will kick his ass. It was a joke. And now it's a personal vendetta. Okay, whatever. A crusade against dipping in general. Crusade? All I said, I don't like to tip, but I do tip. I tip, I round up the number. If I buy something that's around, maybe let's go to a restaurant. It's 1,200,000 lira. I pay 1,500,000 and that's it. I just round it up. Understand culture not in Lebanon. Okay. From 2019 to I was complaining about people earning US dollars. Scorch of I start asking US dollar himself. Dude, I make 30 million Lebanese lira a month and 50 dollars. Okay, let that sink in. My basic salary with transport, it's around to around 30 million. That's around 300 dollars. And they give me 50 dollars fresh. If you want, I can publish the statement of my salary so we can laugh. I get, I earn in US dollar a few men. Again, not necessarily anything breaking the rules, rampant homophobia. F you again. Why do I have anything with the gays? Or LGBTQ? I always said nice things. I never hated them. I have nothing against them. They are the most polite and best people on earth here, in, especially in Lebanon. They are criminally treated for no reason other than their personal preferences. They never hurt me. They never bugged me. They never caused me any distress. They are honestly the most well-mannered people in all of Lebanon. If we had half, no, 10% of their politeness, we would be a very much, much better country. If I am a homophobe, then I'm also the Pope, and I am not. Shame on you. Shame on you, really. Spreading lies. I never made a, made a homophobic uh, comment or made a homophobic meme in my life. This really hurts me. You can call me names as much as you want, but saying I'm a homophobe, shame on you. Shame on you. This is why I left Reddit. See, my mood changed. Change account, links to YouTube channel, promoting his self, promoting the rule. Dude, Reddit was the reason I got a thousand followers. Everyone was enjoying my videos. If I can't post my videos on Reddit, Okay, shame on me, I didn't know that. No one told me that freaking guy, garlic and onions, and that uh, other guy, that uh, comedian, I don't know his name, I don't really care about him, he posts videos, no one said anything, no one banned them, so why me? Hmm? Think about it. Now, Ali B902, holy shit, he wrote a fucking newspaper. The guy is so obsessed, he took... So much time out of his life to write a newspaper. I never wrote an essay in my life this big. Uh, the, the, the butch betting about round and stuff, those and your personal blog, supermarket. He even remembers the minute details about my rants. Revolve around you, mine's fault, okay. Facebook minus parents, positive, too, wasn't really that drunk. Uh, of course, that's not just about, about abuse. They may, ah, okay, I left. I, I never claim I'm a victim. I never am a victim. Okay, that's nice. Uh, okay, he keep uh, renting how I I left and came back and whatever. Okay, dude, why don't you become a mod? Okay, become a mod and put your uh, 
own rules and regulations and enforce them. The mods didn't mind me. I, I was being harmless. I like this uh, here, al Ossa Killa. Yeah, I'm a big shit. I'm, I, 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 am, I am the lowest guy with low self-esteem ever. I'm annoying and too full of himself. I'm too full of shit. That's what I'm full of. Not full of myself. Anyway, thank you for this uh, case study of mine. You really went above and beyond. Good Lord, man. If I have to grade you, if I was your uh, English teacher, I will give you 95 over 100. Because that's some severe commitment, my man. Nice. Holy crap. Again, Mr. Money Pit. Posts are annoying. He didn't report me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, you didn't report me. Holy shit. Ah, thank God. We haven't showed my two piece. One, two post daily. Minus 25 down votes. Dude, you done fucked it up. Another one he committed, then deleted himself because he realized he fucked up. Getting the, One guy is uh, defending him. And then he said, thank you. Man, quite a circle jerk right there. Hmm? Good job, man. Good job. Looking out for each other. No, really, I didn't like his aesthetic, but loved his presence. I hate my presence. I don't know what my aesthetics is, so I asked this guy, what is my aesthetics? He said my lighting and my setup. Okay. Uh, you have great videos, Mr. Hisha, uh, Hisham, Ad, Hisham Haddad. I don't know. He's a nice guy on... Uh, on YouTube, he has that guy with him that sounds like a lady. It's an incredibly funny looking guy. But dude, if I was as sponsored as you and I have money like you, I would buy better equipment. I have here a, a, a portable lamp just for lighting. This is this video is just for you. I put some extra lighting just so you like my aesthetics. So if I was sponsored and I could eat cookies and croissants for free like you, I promise you, I make better aesthetics. But for right now, for a guy that makes $50 a month, this is as good as it gets. I'm filming with a $140 phone. Let that sink in. I don't have a $1,000 camera like most people. I don't know what you carry. Maybe you're, you're filming with an iPhone. But dude, it's a money problem. What can I do? Anyway, thank. Uh, blocking camera on Instagram. Good Lord. I'm just a YouTuber. I don't even have 2,000. I have 1,800 subs. And I'm pretty much surprised. Anyway, Mr. Hummus, swag master. I died of old age. Soon. I think my expiry date is soon. Da, 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 da. Da, it's all funny. Totally. It's pathetic. So that's... Aha! This guy. Ali Fad. Dude, I remember your name. We had many conversations. Death threats? For what? Did I ever say that to you? I had death threats? I mean, why death threats? I said people are sending me some annoying messages, maybe full of uh, prejudice or something. The death threats? No. This is the this is the worst one. Saying I got death threats. Why should I get death threats? What did I do? Uh huh. Being rude to him, not like I got tired. He missed you. Thank you. Tell someone offended by food post. I mean, he wasn't posting about to. Uh huh. Mister B K A Emperor. He's the big Burger King Emperor. I like Burger King. Very good. A dude had mental breakdowns. I get rude with random people. Mental breakdown? Maybe a tantrum, but mental breakdown? Nice. And uh, attracted the trolls to keep triggering him. Okay, so the trolls is good. But having mental breakdown? That's nice. Mod should have handled him. Did it first. Okay. Become a mod and it handle it. Not only on this sub. Okay. Let's say I have melt, mental breakdown on other sub. How would you know? How would you know? You, uh, you make it a habit to follow people on other subs? I never heard of you. I never followed you. I don't care about anyone, what they post, and then I go run around and see what they post. This is creepy, sir. This is why I turned off the follow button on Reddit. Because jerks like you follow people around, say what they, uh, see what they say, what they write. Man, get a job, get a hobby, get a girlfriend, watch some porn or whatever. No need to be such a POS, okay? Mental breakdown, right? Well, you must be a professional in mental breakdown to realize that. 
BK Emperor, what a joke. Some Dingo Dongo, interesting name. Sad to say, always self-deprecates. That's a big word. Anyway, yeah, I believe the best comedy is when you depreciate yourself. I'm the best target here. I always make fun of myself because I believe comedy starts within you, with my own flaws. I'm a king of flaws. To fall thinking it's funny. It is funny. It is annoying. It is not annoying. And any non-Lebanese that didn't start get the wrong impression, Lebanese or Lebanese, dude, we're living in a shithole. I don't know where you live. Maybe you live in Ashrafi with that Ashrafiyot uh, guy, whoever. And you eat uh, pain au chocolat for breakfast. And you have sushi for lunch. And you eat lobster for dinner. We are living in a shithole. And people outside should know we are living in a shithole. There's a problem with garlic and onions. He walks around saying Lebanon is still Switzerland of the East. But it isn't. So S-T-F-U. So you know what that means? I'm telling the truth, you're an idiot. Uh, where is all Lebanese? Uh, aha, <laughs> this, is, this is funny. Someone posted, what is the topic we keep talking about every month? Dude, I, I, I left this place for one month and I already have seen three posts asking where the F I am. One said, the most annoying thing people asking, where is all Lebanese nerd? Man, I do miss him though, XD. Okay, you miss me and XD. Okay, weird. Why? What happened to him? Holy shit. Holy crap, Batman. What happened to old Lebanese nerd? He was threatened and cancelled. Yeah, they threatened me with a pitchfork. Why actually? By whom? I don't know. But he had two accounts. Yeah, everyone know I have two accounts. And he deleted both. Yeah, I deleted both. I still watch his YouTube and comment. I really like this person. I like this one. Thank you. Uh, don't like to see others happy. I'm not happy, but thank you for thinking I am happy. Much appreciated. But you're true. People hate seeing a happy person. I don't know. Maybe they have an allergy. Good Lord. It's done. It's done. Uh, this is what I uh, took some snippet of. Anyway, let's conclude things. I left Reddit for my, from my own accord for two reasons. I keep hearing the same thing, the same negativity. Everywhere, every time I go to there, to this Lebanon subreddit, I hear the same stuff, the same idiocy, the same four or five idiots keep posting. I'm one of them, okay. Maybe some people left Reddit because of me. But I hated this. I, 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 I like to have fun. I like to be positive. I don't want to read, are we going to die? Is the war going to kill us or something? Or the, the usual, how can I work for Murex? Is NEFA open? How can I get a driver license? What is, uh, and people asking where I can, uh, no. How can I put Starlink in Lebanon? Dude, we can't even afford Manushi. You want to put Starlink? That kind of annoying. I think the comment about my burger made me angry. And no, I post, I post tasty stuff. And people don't like it. Okay, if a uh, hundred people say a positive thing, it doesn't mean as much as one person saying a negative thing. There was a personal attack about my food. And the problem is, those cowards don't dare put the name. They just insinuate, saying, I'm sick of seeing burgers. Okay, I'm one of the one posting burgers. Tell me, tell, say, I'm, I'm tired of the old Lebanese nerd posting burgers. That's it. Also, I had a revelation. One guy, I forgot his name. I was talking with him. He revealed he was 16. Uh, didn't like that. So, uh, something popped here. Maybe one day I said something rude to someone and it turned out to be a child. No bueno. I don't want to debate. This is why someone uh, said, why don't you engage in discussion? Dude, you're probably 13 or 14, the guy who posted that. I don't want to go to discussion with small children. That's horrible. It makes me look bad. Because if I lose my temper or have a mental breakdown, man, that's pathetic. I'm 44, goddammit. And that, that bugged me when I found out that the guy I was interacting with is 16 years old. It creeped me out, okay? So I thought uh, I did some self-digging. I said I don't like this anymore. I like Reddit. I'm still using Reddit, but in another way, because I need some info. But uh, for the Lebanon subreddit, no more. I'm not going to engage there. I'm not going to do anything. 
uh, keep reading it just for uh, laughs and giggles but no more I'm done with reddit I'm not uh, gonna do this again it happened before with the uh, old uh, with the Lebanese unboxer I was having fun mass reports uh, it's not true about uh, reddit taking me out I got the report I got the report it was sent someone on Lebanon or many people on Lebanon keep reporting 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 until reddit got fed up and they blocked my account I kept it and then I got to the old Lebanese uh, nerd uh, sadly that's the problem uh, reddit found out that it is uh, my secondary account and that breaks the rule so they banned it so I got uh, upset and I deleted them both uh, and it happened after the and, it, and I that ban happened after I was creeped up so I stopped using it and after a few days I got the ban and I said that's a sign from God so I removed them and it's done it's done I'm done with that but please guys no death threats nothing weird I just got fed up please for the love of God for the love of God stop posting what happened to old Lebanese now. why don't you ask about uh, someone else there was that uh, uh, Hakuna Abuna Matata. Why don't you ask about them? Okay? Why the fixation on me? I'm just a simple man with a simple YouTube channel who does things for uh, for idiocy and laughs and giggle. Uh, I was on uh, Reddit for a while. Uh, people liked me. People hated me. I'm gone. It's done. Please move on. Just move on. Let me move on. I'm tired every few days. Someone sending me a link. Said, Rami, look, they're talking about you. Please. And also, every time I post a video, someone asks, we miss you on Reddit. Okay, thank you, I miss you too. But uh, people move on. I move on. And I mean, uh, it's not like I made a dent on social media or anything. I'm not like uh, uh, all the others. I'm just a normal guy. Just was trying to have fun spread some positivity and good food but you didn't like it okay you don't really have to read some mean comments especially from someone who might be 12 or still sucking on his mama's teats and saying I'm bipolar or saying I suck saying I something uh, I had a, uh, a comment on one of my YouTube videos it was very hateful I uh, deleted it instantly and I figured out it was someone from Reddit he came here for fun I mean guys get a hobby do something you can't uh, you can't just go around harassing people for no reason okay anyway this was my first video about reddit and inshallah inshallah it will be the last one I don't want to hear about reddit no more it was a fun ride but everything has to end and it ended for me I'm here on YouTube all the time. I'll keep making videos. Low counts, low views, low whatever. I don't care. I just do things for fun. It's passing time like this. This is almost 25 minutes. I've been babbling and babbling. Anyway, thank you guys. Anyone who watched this, thank you. If anyone from Reddit sees this, feel free to post it on the Lebanon subgroup. Subreddit or anything. So maybe, maybe this will give closure to those people who are so freaking obsessed with what happened to me. Man, someone being obsessed about me. I don't even really like myself. Anyway, this was our rant for today. Thank you so much for watching this almost 25 minutes video. And I love you all. Here. Let's make it center. You like the lighting? It's a nice lighting. You can see how brownish I am. And anyway... Take care of all. I love you all. And please keep watching my videos. And until the next time. But hopefully not for a Reddit rant. Thank God. Uh, okay. Take care everyone. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace out.